uh, Jack B. Tino Trumps. Now, Jack B. Tino Trumps is a conventional bid that is used by the opening side only. And um, it's one bid that's often spoken about when you get very first into playing bridge. It's one of those sort of, I don't know quite, quite the correct term for it, a bit like, oh, we'll never be good enough to play yeah. Jack a bit. It's one of those like forbidden conventions kind of thing. Um, it's actually a fairly straightforward convention and that you can make as complicated as you wish. So what I'm going to give you is the kind of the basics of what it is and why it exists, and then the fancy frilly bits that you can add on because of Jacobi comes as kind of an additional thing. It's a convention, it's probably Stamen transfers, week twos, they're my top three. Jacobi and Splinters are coming a close close outsider to them. So it's probably one of my top five conventions that I would recommend playing. So what is it? It is a way of game forcing whilst agreeing a major. So I'll give you the problem first, and then tell you the solution. Good salesperson technique. Okay. So our partner opens one of a major, let's say one half for now. Now the problem with this hand is that your hand is too good. Now obviously that's a strange problem to have, it's a good problem to have. But the problem we have is that any bid we make that has hearts in it, two hearts, three hearts, four hearts, six hearts, all of that is non-forcing. So whenever you bid the same suit as a responder, it is non-forcing. There are very select times where it is forcing, when you've game forced earlier or something. But if we bid two hearts or three hearts, our partner could pass which would obviously be very, very bad. Because if we were two hearts or three hearts, our partner passing is an incredibly bad thing for us, given that we imagine we can make games to them our head, or rather, they can make games to them our head. So we need a way to tell them that we want to be in game in hearts. Now, there's a very simplistic, straightforward, non-conventional way, non way to tell them that you want to be in game in hearts, and that is bid game in hearts. So if you've just bid four hearts, there is nothing wrong with that bid. Because you think, we're going to make game in hearts. So let's bid game in hearts. And that is what I would tell you to do if you were sort of in your first year of bidding. I wouldn't kind of worry too much about what might be more than just four. Now we're getting to a standard where bidding game like this, that is a completely routine, I hope, a completely routine thing to do, just bid game with the correct amount of points. The problem you have, if you think from your partner's perspective, is what does that four heart bid look like? Yeah, exactly. That action doesn't say, you don't have to say any words, it's we're done. Okay? Now, South could push on if they had a really, really good opening hand and they thought a slam might be on even opposite, you know, 12 points or whatever. But you tend to find, once you bid game, there's almost an unwritten rule where people start putting their bidding cards away, which is a bad habit, by the way, you ought not to do that. Um, South will very, very rarely bid on over this four hearts. I have a problem with that from, from now thinking from North's perspective because it's reasonable to think we have a slam on in hearts. If you remember, we need about 30-ish points for us to make a slam. We've got 16. Our partner's promise is 11, 12, somewhere in that region as a minimum. So 30 is certainly within, re within reason. It's realistic to think 30 is there. So your other alternative, again, without any conventional things, I suppose this is a conventional thing, but without anything fancy, is for no trumps. That's your other alternative. You bid four no trumps. Because that is on hearts, because the hearts was the last natural suit bid, that does, in a sense, do what you want it to do. You want to explore slam. The downside to this is that you don't want to explore slam if your partner's got a minimum. So you've got a bit of a kind of a question mark. Do you bid four hearts and quell the chance of slam, or do you bid four no trumps and commit to slam? when really you're sort of in that grey middle. If you, had, if you had, let's say, 18, 19 points, you know Slam is most likely to be on, unless you're missing two key cards. If you're sort of 12, 13, if you know Slam is very unlikely to be on, unless your partner has a really good hand. So there's a, there's a grey area, 14, 15, 16, that sort of area where you feel, mm, I feel like Slam could be on, but I don't just want to commit. So in this instance, Neither of those bids, you can't tell me that either of those bids is absolutely correct. You could guess, you could say you know, it's probably 60%, 40%, but you don't know is the problem. So what someone very clever did, Mr. Jacoby, Oswald Jacoby, very, very good player, 
um, came up with a problem to this, sorry, a solution to this problem. Um, and that is, you need a way of telling your partner you have a fit for them and the game going hand without going straight to game. So you need some kind of artificial agreement. Not hard to guess that that bit is two no trumps, given that that's the name of it. Um, now, when you do jack me two no trumps, that says, if I weren't playing this convention, I would have bid at least four of this. So I want to go to game, and I think your suit is a good bet for trumps. Because of that, because Jacobi said, I think your suit should be trumps, we don't play it on a minor. Because if you have a minor fit, you don't often, not never, but you don't often want that suit as trumps. You normally want to be playing in no trumps. So Jacobi is only really used on major suits, because that's the only time you would really strongly agree at major. If I shift a card here, and get our partner to open a club, you wouldn't want to use Jacobi here because you want to explore the possibility of a heart bit first. So you would bid one heart. And one heart, because it's a new suit, is forcing, so you've not got a problem with that. Whereas in the heart, it doesn't matter whether you've got a force wave or four clubs as it happens. In that scenario, you don't care about a club fit. So you would want to agree hearts straight away. So we only really use Jacobi after an, an opening major bit. Notice it's an opening bid. It can't be one club, one heart as an overcall, because then they're not promising an opening hand. They're just promising a five card suit. So it has to be an opening side, and it has to be on a major. The other thing is that when you bid this Jacobi two no trumps, it has to be the first bid you make. You don't want to bid one spade, or in this instance two clubs, and then partner bid something, and then you bid two no trumps, because they're just going to think that's natural in that instance. Okay? So what Mr. Jacobi did was he decided a jump to two no trumps passes the message of a four level raise without actually going all the way to four. So it says, I would like to bid four of our suit, but I think there is a chance there might be more on. So let's have a talk about that. Okay? It's got a little thingy because it is completely artificial. So it says, nothing really to do with no trumps other than that you have four cards in your partner's suit. You don't have to be balanced, you don't have to be unbalanced, you just have to have a game going hand. What's a game going hand? For me, 12 plus, some would argue 13, whatever way, you know, whatever you feel like, 12, 13. Um, if you've got shape, of course, you might be game going with fewer points if you've got. If you've got a singleton or a void, you might have fewer points, but a game going hand based on a losing trick count. Be aware that you might be able to do a splinter there. We're going to do splinters later, <coughs> which I'll get to. So, um, what this does really is it sacrifices a natural bit of two no trumps as a responder to have an artificial way of saying, yes, those, we're going to game at least, what do you think? Now, that's not a very common scenario because you don't always have a fit and you don't always have a game going hand, but when it does come up, it solves a big problem. Because if this hand were to arise naturally, without Jack of the Trump, there is no way of knowing the correct bid. If you bid four hearts, yes, that could be correct. If you bid four no trumps, yes, that could be correct. But we don't know. Okay? And that's what Jack of the Trump tries to solve. It tries to say, I want to go to game, what do you think? 